Hey, what's up? This is Mark at Alchemist.camp, where usually we learn Elixir by building things, but today we're setting up a new Mac, and one part of that is ASDF, which is Package Manager for Multiple Languages. So if you go to github.com slash ASDF dash VM slash ASDF, you'll see this page here. And we're just going to go through the instructions here, clone the repo there. And while that's cloning, let's look at these instructions. Uh, we've got Ubuntu and macOS instructions, uh, basically the same except on macOS instead of bash RC. We store our information in a bash profile. This hyphen E in the echo just says interpolate this. So this backslash N will be a new line. And same deal here. So basically all we've done is we've added a couple of lines to our bash profile. I'm going to cat my bash profile so you can see that. And bash profile. And as you can see, I've got some other stuff up there from before. And at the bottom are a couple of lines about ASDF. Obviously, in order for this to work, we're going to have to restart our terminal session or source the file. Let's look here at what else we need. Uh, we need all of these libraries, so if you don't have them yet, use brew install all of this stuff. And I've already got them, so don't need to wait for those to reinstall. Next thing is end this session, start a new terminal session, and now let's just see if we've got ASDF. We do. So first we're going to do ASDF plugin dash list all. This will show all the plugins, aka languages, we could get. And as you can see, it's not just the four that they advertise. There's actually a lot of options. Let's just get node to start with. ASDF plugin dash add. We'll add a new plugin, aka language. And Node.js is what it's called here. Now that we've got Node, let's see which versions are available. So ASDF list dash all to see everything that's out there. Node.js. That's a lot of versions. ASDF install 11, or install Node.js 11.3.0. Should install GNU PG. Ah, looks like they didn't mention that. Let's also get that. Brew install GPG. That took a couple minutes, but it's done. I'm going to add this one line to my bash profile. So bash profile and throw it in here. And let's line that up properly. Save it. All right, good deal. Now, let's see if we can run what we just tried to, ASDF install Node.js 11.3.0. Hmm, this is not ideal. Looks like there's no public key, so we can't get uh, assurance that we've actually gotten the real node. Let's uh, check the Googles, ASDF Node.js. Can't check signature number 40. That's pretty old. Looks like they fixed it. They fixed it again. Okay, this may be a version by version thing. So let's let's get a slightly older version of Node. Uh, the other option would be to completely disable the checking. I'm going to try to avoid that for now. So should be dealt with for that version. No, it's not. What exactly is the issue? All right, I have done some Googling on what is going on here. Looks like the Node.js version in particular uh, has a little bit of a messy process for getting the signatures. So we have to add this key ring here. And after that, hopefully all will work. All right, now, can we get Node.js 10.5.0. Looks like we can. We're actually downloading now. Okay, ASDF list node.js 
asdf list node js and we have one asdf current so i can set one asdf global node js 10.5.0 asdf current and there we are and if if we said local it would just set it in the local directory wherever you are so you could have a different default version of each language in each directory now we don't really want that old version of node so let's uh, go through this exact same thing 11.3.0 it's the current one i believe nice so asdf list node.js we've got two versions node-v 10.5 asdf global node.js 11.3.0 and now we have version 11.3.0. Excellent. Now we'll just do this exact same thing for the other languages that we want. So ASDF or plugin dash add Erlang Elixir and I'll grab Ruby. I may grab some others later. I believe I've already got Python uh, installed through just as a dependency for some other things. So uh, excellent. ASDF list all Erlang. It's a lot of versions. Let's first have a look at the specific plugin for Erlang. So ASDF Erlang. And it recommends that we, let's see here, LSX, it recommends we have autoconf and WX Mac installed. I believe I already have both. Let me make sure. We will install autoconf and wxmac. And yes, I already have them both. So the only other thing is basically just tell it not to use Java compiler to do it. Either that or we could use ASDF and install Java, I guess. ASDF list or plugin list all. They do have Java. Actually, that's kind of tempting, but well, for now, Let's say do it without Java and then ASDF install Erlang 21.1 ASDF. Once again, I pause the video for a bit. It looks like it has now been successfully built. And let's give that a try. SDF Global Erlang 21.1. And now let's have a look at SDF Current. You can see which version we have for Erlang and Node. Elixir we haven't installed yet. Uh, just to make sure Erl-V gives us what we want. That looks very good. Control -G. And let's have a look at Elixir now. So ASDF dash Elixir. And nothing special there. Nothing. Okay, looks like we can just do it directly. ASDF install. Uh, well, actually, let's see what they are. So list all Elixir. And let's get the newest one. ASDF install Elixir 1.7.4. This one is much smaller, so I'm not going to skip any video this time. Uh, ASDF global Elixir 1.7.4. And now Elixir dash V. Excellent. All right, so this is pretty much all the stuff I wanted to set up. Oh, except for Ruby, I guess. It's gonna be the same exact thing though. Let's just go through that really quickly. This is pretty convenient having all of our, all of our language management in one tool instead of in lots of different ones. And default gems, this looks like a little bit of stuff about migration but nothing, nothing too complicated. So ASDF list all Ruby. Okay, and 
truffle root RBX. Uh, there we go. Here are the normal ones. And 2.5.3 is the newest. So ASDF salt ruby 2.5.3. As before, we've got to configure it to be used. So ASDF global ruby 2.5.3. Excellent. We now have all the things, or at least four languages, and we know where to get many, many others. And remember, as I said before, if we used local instead of global, said ASDF local, a language and a version, it would set ASDF to use that version only in that directory. So we could have different directories with different projects in them, running different versions of Node or running different versions of Elixir and everything will just work. So it's a, a nice tool if you are into uh, switching back and forth between different versions and different projects frequently, as uh, I kind of am. Hope this was useful, and if it was, definitely click subscribe on YouTube and check out alchemist.camp, where I have many, many tutorials, mostly on Elixir, but a few here and there on Nginx and server configuration, that kind of thing. See you next time.